Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Sorry I'm looking a bit windswept as I've been out in the garden making a couple of short videos and uh, we've still got very high winds there. In fact I was just doing a persimmon video which you may uh, may decide to watch and um, literally as I finished it and walked in the door it started pouring down with rain again. But the reason to doing this little short video is um, it was brought to my mind to do it because of watching a video by my friend Woody at Cumbrian Homestead the other day and he was sent he'd been sent a, a grafting tool to try out and coincidentally I just bought one myself and then I was watching uh, Dan's permaculture food forest and Dan was using what looked like exactly the same grafting tool as I'd purchased now you can buy these for about 14 or 15 pounds on eBay or Amazon over here. I've never done grafting before. I haven't got any grafting knives. And I just thought if I was going to try it sometime or other, I might try one of these quick and easy tools to see how they work. Um, basically, it comes with three... Uh, let me pull it out so I can show you. <clears throat> It's quite a simple setup really. It comes with three interchangeable cutting blades on them. So if I show you one there, that's kind of like a, a V shape. And the second type it has is, let's see if I can get this out of the packet. The second type it has is, if you can see that, it's kind of, a, I think they call it the uh, Omega shape. Amiga shape and the one which is in it already which is a U shape so you simply just release the little catch you've got a set of pruning shears at the top for cutting your branch off and then you put the stem in this other section here and this little V shape thing comes across and cuts a v-shape now i've never tried it so i thought it'd be fun to have a go because dan seems to get on very well here now i happen to have a piece of stem that i cut off a persimmon i think this is might be a russian beauty or russian red one or the other that i got recently and uh, they were single stem plants so when i put them in the containers i cut them back and i left this lying around um, but I've never done grafting in my life and I haven't got a grafting knife so I thought it would be fun just to have an experiment and see what happens. So as far as I can make out you would obviously use those to cut the stem off but I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to have a little experiment. This is the bottom part of the stem. Now obviously you can see what sort of size stem you'd be able to put in there. So what I'm planning to do is we'll just... You line up the stem, as far as I can make out, you line up the stem in here. Of course you can't show that very clearly. And you just squeeze it. I've no idea how well this will work. Because obviously I've never used it before. Oh, okay. So basically, I'm just going to use it on the same piece of... Uh, stem here because there's no need for me to get another stem basically you cut your your rootstock you would cut your rootstock I don't think it matters which way around you do this actually but clearly you would cut your you take your scion and you use that tool to cut the scion which gives you that shape there um, and obviously it's the shape of the, the size of the cut is going to depend on the size of the stem you've got. And then you take your rootstock and you make a cut on that as well. And then you simply join the two pieces together like that, which I think you can see. Now that seems to me a lot easier than getting a knife and cutting, spending ages cutting wedges and trying to get the two to match up. Because I've watched lots of grafting videos and obviously you cut a wedge on one piece and a piece on the other. Now, I think, I can't remember if these are called cleft grafts or saddle grafts, because obviously if you were to put it that way, you'd probably be calling that a saddle graft. 
Whereas if you're handling it the other way, you'd probably be calling it a, call, calling it a V graft. Now, I can't imagine these grafting tools will last very long because they probably don't look like they're the best, best quality in the world. But to be honest, I'm only likely to have to do two or three grafts. But to me, that looks like a pretty much perfect fit. And then you would simply wrap your graft you would wrap your, you can't even see it, it's so good. You simply wrap your grafting, grafting tape. So I would think if you were doing a lot of grafting, I don't think this would work for a very, very thin branch because of the size of the, the size of the cut. But if you took an average graft to be, piece of stem you graft to be, I don't know, probably three or four millimetres up to about a centimetre. So probably about uh, between uh, a quarter and a half an inch I would imagine this grafting tool would make your life very very easy as I think you could do that literally in a few seconds now funny enough I'm probably going to wrap this in cling film and put this in the fridge because I might decide to try grafting this branch onto another uh, onto another one of my persimmons in a few weeks time just to see what happens just as an experiment as I've never tried so anyway that was my grafting tool I bought you've got three different shapes of joint you can use but it looks to me like it gives I can't even see the joint on there Look. brilliant this is different to the one that Woody was using um, but this looks identical to the one that Dan tried on a mango which seemed to work perfectly well and I'm presuming you could use this for grafting almost anything but of course there's no reason why you couldn't just use the old-fashioned way of using knives which I think are very reliable and of course there are certain, this is only any good for that type of graft I've just shown you where you're joining the two stems together if you would need to do um, bud grafts or or bark grafts it's obviously no use for that at all this is purely for joining the two you know a scion onto a rootstock where they're probably of a reasonably similar thickness of stem now, I don't think it would work very well if you're if you're doing a graph where one side of the where the scion's a fraction of the size of the main stem because you'd be probably do better to graft it on one side i think it's a one-sided uh, cleft graph that's called but uh, anyway thought i'd show you it's only about 14 or 15 pounds on amazon or uh, or ebay so i would think for an amateur grafter like me just to have the first go it's probably well worth uh, trying them out so it's just a short grafting video as it's pouring the rain outside. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, obviously um, I'm not an experienced grafter, I've never done it at all, so I can't promise you that the tool will work, but it's what I thought I'd uh, have a go with anyway. And I'll uh, catch up with you in the next video. Let's go have a nice sip of coffee. So I can't do any gardening now, it's pouring the rain. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. You're welcome to uh, click like on the video if you saw anything that interests you. Um, Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already because I'm trying to build up a few more people because I enjoy answering questions and uh, replying to comments that are made. And um, obviously if, if, if there's anything at all I do that might be of interest to you in the future, like my tropical fruits, then by all means hit the bell and you'll get notifications of future videos. Thanks everybody, Brett out for now and I'll catch up with you in the next one.